fellow collectors, today we'll be talking about Diablo 4 Hydra Lightning Sorceress. Now this is the common version and it includes a mystery weapon. And this is from McFarlane Toys. So here we can see the Sorceress on a platform in a plastic bubble. So on the back we have a nice little artwork of the Sorceress fighting some bad guys here. I don't know if they're demons, zombies. But very, very nice artwork. We can see the snake here. So on the side we see we have some mystery weapons. Collect them all. And also I forgot to mention these do come in three different grades. We have an epic, a rare, and a common. Purple, blue, and white. You can see this is 2023. And so this is the common version. So let's get it on the scale and see how much she weighs. Okay, the sorceress is coming in at 12.6 ounces. So let's get her off the scale and out of the box. Hey, open, <laughs> damn it, open! Okay, now that we have it out of the box, we have a figure that's on the platform five and a half inches tall. Very nice looking statue. This is not a figure. This is a statue of the sorceress. So it has lots and lots of detail that we're common with seeing with McFarlane toys. You can definitely see details in here, the little, little necklace, the face sculpt, the hand here. Now it does come with these three stickers, number one, number two, number three, and here is the mystery weapon and the accessories that I got with this one. So this is the mystery weapon. It was in a package. Now this is the thing. If you get a weapon and it's a mystery, I'm not going to buy three different, three of the same figures just to get a weapon that I might get the same one time and time again. That's a little bit uh, foolish to think that uh, people are out there and they're really so into the game that they would spend their money just getting this. Now, you can put it in the figure's hand here. You'll see the, the hand is pliable enough to hold it. But uh, depending on how far you want her to hold it uh, or anything like that, it'll be how thick the actual statue is on your shelf. Now, from the end of the skull to the end of the platform hammer, I'm getting six and a half inches. That's a lot of space for a statue. Now, it also has this hand here. You could put the dagger in it, but you'll see it doesn't really hold anything really well. You could take the other staff here and kind of maneuver it behind her back in there. Now you can put this face on her just simply by taking off her head and putting it there and then she has this hand here that basically she took off the mask and is holding it in her hands so the display options are pretty nice for this so if you're looking to get it and you're into Diablo 4 then I would recommend this but if you're just a regular collector then it may not be it. So I have a Dungeons and Dun Dragons themed shelf. So this was where it will go on there with other like Warcraft and things like that. So remember to shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.